is up guys, Holy here, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time, we started Blue Sea Moon, another month here, uh, preparing to go seek out Shambhala, uh, and that's the map we're gonna be doing today. Uh, <laughs> so, last time we also were trying to get supports. I got some more, um, but that episode ended on the 12th. I spent like three or almost even four hours the last two months, just six battles on auxiliaries, just to grind out as many supports as I could, uh, which wasn't, I mean, it's a good chunk sitting here. We'll go all over all those next time, because next time is our final monastery. But I wanted to get as much money and um, renown as possible. Uh, and that was why there was no episode yesterday, because <laughs> it took so long. I went, sat down, I was like, all right, let's just knock out these real quick. What, an hour tops, and then I'll get into it? And I was like, oh, it's just time for bed now. <laughs> but we're moving on. All is good. Our units are um, looking nice. We'll go over them more whenever we're actually getting into the, the map. See who we want to bring. But stand strong at Shambhala. Uh, though the flame of ore is quenched, its embers endure. Uh, its embers endure. You travel deep underground to confront those who slither in the dark and bring lasting peace to Bodlin. This is one of those things, like, you can see where it is on the map. Um, but I was, I was curious, like, of course, Seteth and, you know, the main members of the church, I forget what exactly they were called, um, they know about Shambhala, but everyone else, especially in the monastery, they're just like, Shambhala, what? But no one questions, like, where are we going? How do we know where they are? I don't know, I, something I picked up, which I don't think I questioned in the Golden Deer run, probably because we didn't know anything yet, but now... I don't know, it's just weird that we're just kind of like, yeah, yeah, sure, Shambhala. Uh, we know exactly where that is. Uh-huh. <laughs> Relying on a map entrusted to them by Hubert, the Resistance Army sets their sights on the base belonging to those who slither in the dark. Beyond its entrance, they are met by a sprawling underground city. There is such a vast space hidden beneath the ground. How very creepy. I love the look of the bench squad uniform with the dubstep city in the background. Just the colors. The, the actual, you know, attire is like, I wouldn't wear it. But the color combo is an aesthetic I can get behind. Hmm. The atmosphere here is very different from the Holy Mausoleum or Holy Tomb. Look at the shapes and the light. It's too strange. It's all really old, but you get the feeling that it's also new? I don't understand it. This decorating is not of Fodlin. What is the meaning here? I hate the look of things in here. Is this some kind of a city? I would never ever live here. I would. This this place looks dope. Living underground, all safe and isolated. It sounds really a really awful underground city hiding those who slither in the dark I would not mind finishing up here and returning to the surface with haste let us search for a way to descend farther still we should survey our surroundings carefully something on your mind no it is simply we must defeat those who slither in the dark, no matter what happens. But if my conjecture is correct, the one who they will wish to kill the most... ...is you, dear child. Are you sure it's not you? I, I mean, they probably want our heads pretty equally. They are aware that you can use the sword of the Creator. Yeah, but I gave that to Yuri, so it's fine. <laughs> Your body houses the same power they once bestowed upon Nemesis. That is why I must protect you, no matter what. Even if I must die to do so. I don't understand. Somewhere in your heart, I believe you do understand. You must at least have your suspicions. There is something I have not yet told you, dear child. I swear to illuminate you once this awful battle has concluded. 
And at the same time, I will offer my apologies to you. I must, because when you learn the truth, you will also learn what you are and how you were born into this world. It will be a hard truth to hear. When the time comes, I hope you are prepared for it. Okay. I'm interested to see, uh, or it's here, what we are told. Because I have heard that it's a different um, set of truths, or more information, different information that you get when compared to the Golden Deer, like, lore dump, uh, whenever you rescue her. And there's still a few things that I believe I am supposed to be told in the game that I have yet to find out, especially, like, Geralt. Because we know he's super old. But we don't know why, how, any of that. Um, let's see... Defeat enemy commander, of course, and he is, yeah, hidden away in here. There are some chests in here. Um, see without light. Are these chests that I want to bother with? Sword and bow of Zoltan. Maybe. Maybe. There are a bunch of door keys dropped here. Um... The robots, but units. Can we have 12? 11? So one person has to sit out. Really? Uh, do I have anyone? Like, Happy is the only one of the main 12? Yeah. Okay, so everyone's about, like, 42-ish. I think the main, uh, things that happened. Catherine. Just. Actually, no, it's. I think the main things that happened, I think, is actually Hanman. Catherine did a lot. She's 45. She is good. She's almost at A plus in Lances. Um, Aloise. Oh, Aloise got up to S in Axes. So he has Axe Crit plus 10 now. Um, oh, Manuela has finally reached A in Reason. Finally. So she has that one bolting use. Uh, potentially, too, a Bloom Dragon sign that she's been holding. Pops. Uh, was there anything else other than just standard, like, upgrades? Uh, Cyril. Why oh, deselected Cyril? Um, I mean, he has movement plus one now, but I don't know that I want to give it to him. Uh, I did pass out all the stat boosters we were holding on to. Um, so I guess as a quick rundown, just in case there's something major different that I don't know. Like, Violet was kind of lacking in strength. I gave Violet some strength stat boosters. Balthus didn't get anything. Aloise, I gave some more defense. Because I feel like he kind of needs... His role kind of is that, that bulky role, but he didn't really have the defense that I wanted him to. So, now it better matches. Uh, Seteth, I don't know if I gave... I think I might have given him... I gave him some luck and some skill, I believe. He also has Defiant Strength equipped right now, uh, which we've unlocked, I think, two episodes ago. Manuela, uh, I think I gave her something. I don't remember what, though. Catherine, I don't know if I gave her anything. I cannot remember. Yuri, pretty sure not. Shamir was a no. Hanman, I think I gave a little bit more strength. Um, but he has mastered War Master, and I was mentioning, you can see he has Quick Repost. I was mentioning how I wasn't sure what I wanted, like, after War Master, if I wanted to go back to Grappler, because of Grappler's, like, three-hit Iron Fist, or whatever it was called. But, having Fist Fair, Axe Fair, and then the innate Crit plus 20, I think we're staying here, as well as War Master Strike. That was the one I was unaware of what it does. Plus three might, plus 30 hit. Effective against all enemies. That's pretty nice. Uh, especially with, we have the Bolt Axe, and it doesn't have uh, Axe Prowess. That kind of makes up for it. Do a, a really strong magic-based Axe hit. I like that. Um, 
But yeah, okay, I definitely gave him, yeah, strength boosters, so now he's pretty much even in strength and magic. Um, and with quicker post and all the defense we gave him recently, he's sitting in a really good spot now. Uh, Constance did, I don't, pretty sure, get anything. She doesn't ever need anything, she's just a fucking monster. Cyril, um, actually, I think he gave Cyril one magic booster because he kept getting magic and it's like, well, fuck it. I'll just give you a magic bow and now your strength and magic are about even. Why the hell not? Um, Happy, I believe I gave some charm um, because she had the lowest. I think that's it as far as things. Oh, she is also S+. plus. She has completely maxed out her flying. Uh, so she has access to null fly effectiveness. Doesn't really matter to me, but it's that. Oh, and I passed out some, some HP boosters, so I think our lowest HP now is 50. Something, I guess, of note. But alright. The four corners. Um, who wants to be alone? Not many people, honestly. Um, I should probably make it like Who's over here? Maybe two flyers? So, like, Aloise and Catherine. Maybe there. Um, maybe Cyril over here would be a good idea. Just for that range damage. Uh, and Shamir... Constant Seteth? Okay. I think that's fine. I don't know. I remember this being, and it's probably going to be a very long map. Because, well, we can see if we can do anything fancy. For thousands of years, we have existed underground, living on only that we might someday see our vengeance realized. I also just realized I didn't set up adjutants. <laughs> I don't think we really necessarily needed them. Well, Happy, Happy is not getting any experience this map. She was the one. Maybe, ooh, I might have wanted to bring her too, because flying with all of her range might need to reset real quick. I just got, going over the units and whatnot, I got ahead of myself. Like, yeah, let's just now, jump in. That vengeance is finally within our grasp. There is but one thing left to do. Destroy them! Damn those who stand with that arrogant goddess to oblivion! Away from the world of the living! Now is the time. Remove the binding spell of Titanus. Let their metal bodies be drenched in blood. What is that? Demonic Robots. Beasts? No, I think not. They appear to have no will of their own. Someone must be controlling them. Initiate all that remain. We must advance our preparations. Um. I think I might actually. Because Yuri... Like... Yuri... I'm in. ...can be helpful, but like... The damage is nice and all, but... I would rather, I think, have warp? And flying? I think we're gonna swap out Yuri for happy. Yeah, hold on. Alright. So that's in place. Um... So this door, I believe we just stand. Well, okay, door key. No, we have to. We do have to actually open it. Okay. Um. Because this map is gonna be a very, very slow one. I'm wondering how doable, like a warp scenario, or who would even want to kill, who I would want to warp in there to try and take down Talus. Really sure. Uh, let me definitely highlight the robots, uh, and then I think I need to highlight oh, the flyers. Can't go over the walls. I was like, I saw this guy. I was like, Ugh. Okay. 
What's well. my strategy? Like, I really don't want to use the Brave Axe when I don't have to. Elm Splitter, I mean, sure, it's a five use on a, on a valuable axe, but it's going to plan. It's rid of them. Almost at A plus an axe as well. So this chest, the Bow of Zoltan. Oh, yeah. Well done. I think I really care about it, honestly. Um... Bow, there's a bow knight. How much speed? 33 attack speed. Let's go. I just. How did Cyril just get so good? It's so weird to me. All right, happy. Why not? Probably my asthma from here. Yeah. Now this might be a terrible idea. Might be moving things way earlier than they would normally move. That missed. Okay. All right then. Let's see here. That's, I did give Catherine, I was like, there's a maid. I gave Catherine more talisman. Um, just to help secure that that Falcon Knight value being a, a res tank. Still does a lot of damage. Can we dodge it though? I'll never back down. Well, shame. Um there's no stopping me. I guess I don't think Yeah, I mean I'll just do that. Do that. Let's clean up. Alright, let's just end. Seven hit rate. Can we hit and return at least? That's nice. I like that. 20% crit. Oh, okay. Like, please don't do it. Okay, the Swordmaster is moving. I didn't hit him, but he is moving. Okay. On highlight. Um, now I know Manuela. Wow. Zero hit rate. Now, I did give her a new battalion. Does that give a it does no avoid, just a lot of hit. Okay. Can't be upset by that. Uh okay, that hit rate, however, not not so great. Let's see, magic bow. He has 17 damage with a magic bow. What? I need to look up your girls. Because you were getting so much magic. And I did say, I gave him, I think, one, maybe two stat boosters. It was at least one, minimum. Um, But so many levels, he would just constantly get magic. Oh, the other magic boosters went to Manuela. Because um, she was kind of lacking in the damage department. Uh, and also, she has warp, so it wasn't going to go to waste. Uh, character growth rates. Here we go. Now I know whatever is gross, he adds what? Is it 20? Cyril's space magic is 15. I've gotten stronger. 
Um, an aptitude, 20. So, 35 magic total. I mean, I guess it's not terrible, but... Hold on. Class growths... Has he had any, like, negatives to... Let's see. Archer doesn't take away. Sniper doesn't take away. Bow Knight also doesn't take away. So, no, it's just... He's just been rolling that 35 constantly. I, I mean, you do you, bud. Alright. Um, Killer Knuckles. Wait. I'd like to see. Also, a times two, not times four. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Hi. Oh, quick repost. I guess. Yeah, that quick repost. Oh. That's what he's needed, like, the whole time. Uh, one of the main reasons we went down this path. Feels good to fight for a cause. Take you down, Shamir, 42. I'll grow as strong as I can. Very nice level. Uh, Seth can't reach. Okay. Um, just because something. Oh, it might. Oh, it's probably just that. Guy. Oh, well. Thank you. The stronger the better. Uh, do you stop? No, you did. Not too long ago, though. Uh, I suppose. I mean, the chest is right in front of me, right? Uh, convoys like this menu is massive. Yeah, let's just grab both. Uh, just chill right there. And let's see, by left. Yeah, I guess we'll use another five with the axe left. of Yukon. The axe prowess level five. Okay. And let's see. I need to be careful of this sniper. I think we're gonna go here. We're gonna swap to the short spear. Wait. It gives her the plus. Alert stance plus. Uh, we can rally your strength and luck. Yeah, we're sitting in a real nice spot. Guide me well. Now, okay. Um, Devil Sword, sure. Get that Step going. Carefully. Just chill there. If he hit, uh, we do hit in return at least. Well, I mean, getting hit, I said, uh, but no, that, that's pretty good. Is that all? It smacks us, then we take the poison strike and the devil hit. Oh, Catherine. Crest of Index is deadly. I was like, you missed that, and then he popped the crest. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's a lot of things moving at me. Um, uh oh. But, uh, this might not be the best thing to do right now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Appreciate it. I don't actually hit the Swordmaster this time. Thank you. I mean, sure. <clears throat> now, I might need to gambit here. Just because it's two sword masters, one with a battalion. Let's 
see how far that guy can go. Okay. Well. Sally Ford. You just see. You can't get up to 64 damage. No. But after that gambit. And this. Does this one shot? No. Okay. Uh, so because it doesn't one shot, we could go here. So that at least guarantees time, there's no turning one kill now. while stopping all them. Um, and then between Shamir and Constance, these two should be able to die, no problem. Well, you say Shamir. Uh, ooh, the is very close, but not quite. However, if we punch. We need to use that one to kill. Yeah. Alright. Fine by me. Sending their numbers. Okay. Um fire. Kill. Your death serves my purpose. Now, Shamir. Uh-huh. Forty-five and sixty hit rates. This might be. Let's see. Set this up to seventy. Everything goes off at twenty-five percent, right? Less than or equal to. What's twenty-five percent? What I just did. Twenty-five percent of seventy. I don't know if seventy. Yeah, it doesn't. Seventeen point five. We are okay. <laughs> Not there. I kind of didn't think so, but I wanted to double check. I have faith. But depending on what goes when, we could still be in a good spot. That magic sword axe. The way I could do this is swap here. Shamir actually served better there. Before I use that, let's just see what happens, I guess. Maybe. That'll come out okay. Let's kill this guy with Aloise. Miracle. How much luck do you have? I've been stuck by... 21. Really? I've been smacked by miracle bullshit so much, especially during the grinding I did uh, on those auxiliary battles. So many miracle procs. So much frustration. Um, let's go up here. Uh, hello. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah. Oh. Like damage. That could be great there. Uh, but what we could do... Combat Arts, Foul Play, Hanuman. So Hanneman can come over here and punch down. Hopefully punch down. Really? He did so much damage. Hanneman has good res too. No way I can lose here. Well, that sucked. This All right. Activated. Increase output gradually, depending on the amount of magical energy charged. I don't care if we destroy Shambhala, so long as our goals are fulfilled. Fucking hate the Viscum. Okay, we at least do some damage in return there. Um... Judgment is passed. That is all. Okay, now... Wait, that put us at 15? 45 hit rate! Thank you, Setef. Holy shit, thank you.
Wow. Over here. Um. Lemon sword. Unhighlight you. Okay. It's like, yeah, warp dying. stuff. Uh, it doesn't actually. Mm -hmm. At this rate, like, I need to get people together to even like I'll try. I'll my hands if I must. Only a wound. Uh, all right, down the steps. Now, yeah, Catherine. Catherine has reposition, so just to get Aloise a little bit further, we'll do one of those. That's for this corner. Swarm for the speed debuff. We'll wait there. Me? Really? Um... Now, I think the one thing that I... I'm pretty sure these things drop a Garthium, and I am out of a Garthium to repair Seteth's Devil Sword. So it would I definitely benefit me to 100% uh, grit. Definitely benefit me Destiny to at unfurl. least shield breaking one of them. I don't know how much a Garthium I have exactly. If one will be enough to repair. But probably something I'm gonna wanna do. Alright, um, let's heal Constance. But yeah, he can use the Woe Down now, and Manuel has been holding on to Woe Down Plus for a while, and she doesn't really use it, she doesn't have physical damage. She was just kind of holding it because she could. That's the fucking Viscum, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's the worst part about any of this. Uh, we have two... No, we have Warp and Rescue. Right. Right. Is it you now? No, who? What? Like, I know I moved Stride around. I couldn't remember who I gave it to. Now, that might be the play. I don't have a flyer over here. Viscum. I believe to turn them off, you have to kill a mage within these boxes. I believe that's how they are turned off. So... Which actually... Okay, hold on. I think I can get one of them. How far... Uh... I'm gonna shove. I want... If possible, I would like Byleth... To reach that door and then rescue Byleth back. This is a risky play. Item or no convoy. Yeah. 
door key. Okay, now let's see. Uh, terrifying damage. Hit a kiss is the one. Now, I'm also curious. Just straight up. Okay, Bolton can't reach. Rescue, though... Oh, how many tiles are we? One tile? Okay. Well. I do need Violet to get out of there. trying to break this dude. I don't think that would be a bad plan. The people over here to break. That don't worry me. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna double. So... What, what stats do you have, too? Okay, yeah. Or Knuckles are my best bet. Uh, let's just chill here, use an elixir. right there. Now, you can't reach. You want to do zero. Um, we have to fix that. That sword on Lance. Let's swap. Luin has the best hit rate. Um, and we can also Apologies. rally Dex. And just get him close by. Now, the Visco might ruin everything. Of course. Of course it hits me. And he got his 21% crit. My dream. Watch and learn. Two reasons to reset, back to back. Love it. Okay. So I gotta redo that entire last, you know what, let me just be right back. I can't open this now, clearly. I wanted to, but I can't. Okay. So hopefully this guy doesn't grip me again. Dream. I can only hope. Just a hindrance. <laughs> Lament your weakness. Uh. Round three. Looks like you have 12 hit rate. Come on now. Okay. Do not try to Destiny like, no, set death just can't fuck up here. And all should be. You shall not survive. Uh, Defeat me? Left. Going that way? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um. You know, I'm gonna have to take a Viscom hit. Need that guy to come back over here. Okay. Now. Uh, what shapes we got? Uh, Catherine has her ashes to dust now because she's kind of just a. An avoid tank, which was the plan. That was the goal, making her a, a Falconite in general. Uh, it seems she has 
quite finally gotten there. I can help. So, we're gonna go ahead. All is fair and more. Do one of those. Uh, and two more things need to be cracked. That should be no problem. Thunder. Those we might not kill because of, I believe these things have the annoying Aegis Pavis thing. Yep. Um, we just need the damage in there. So, Aloise. Oh, wait. These are just monsters. Okay. would be better. And you know what? Let's let's test right here. Uh, 15, 14, uh, right here. Point blank volley. Okay, 18 times 2 with a point blank volley. Um, 33 times 2. Okay. That answers that. Uh, Cyril is going to be the one to break this. It's not going to actually kill, unfortunately. Okay. Does leave him with one. My turn. Now, Hanuman, are you able to, like, quad and do some... Okay. Well, there's that, then. We're going to Silver Axe take out this HP bar. Hanuman. Wow. 57. Not even better. That's pretty damn nice. Okay. Um... Now, it doesn't move. Big chillin'. We could, maybe we can do a full thing? Crest of Noah. Pretty nice. And then we can dance. Come over here. Finish the job. Um, we can reposition. Get you out of there. Now, there, and there. Okay. So yeah, Viscum, it's gonna hurt. Oh. It's like nothing, okay. Let's think carefully. Glad he didn't hit, because it would have it would have been it's the disturbance, not the damage. Would have been bad there. Uh okay. So Hanneman. Nine times two is for Google. Okay, it's like that nine percent crit. I don't want to see it. Tears of four to fall. Now these two. Um, I hope it's Manuel of finish. The job. No. Let's see. Cyril, combat art, point blank, seventy HP. Okay. I feel like I need to do one of these. Right. 
And then I need to kill this guy. It's 51. Hmm. Uh, can Catherine finish the job? Catherine has some pretty good strength. Thunderbrand. We have like, barely used this because most of the time when I look at Thunderbrand's damage or hit rate rather, it's like non-existent. Let's say, come on, do not, do not do this right now. All right, we can Leaven Sword this guy. Let's see. Okay, more hit rate. I know who the bigger of the two, like the, the bigger threat of the two is here, and it's definitely the Swordmaster. I fight for Lady Rhea. So we're taking him down. Okay. As for over here, we need to take that, that, you aren't really a threat. This guy is a problem, but Happy might be able to just, uh, what, Banshee? Make him not a problem? So much movement, he's still a problem, okay. Well, let's just... Uh, oh my god. Eighty percent crit, woe down one hundred okay. As long as we land the hit, it's a guaranteed kill. I knew you could do it. Alright. The Viscum is still there, so depending on what goes down. Um, how much speed does this hero have? Forty four. Here does not have the capabilities for that. Tell you what. Um, okay, well, I think Byleth is gonna have to just kind of jump in here, brave axe it up, take out the magic. I'm stronger than before. More damage, more magic, more defense. Go back away, so we're not. We're only. Right? You're only being hit by, or targeted by one Viscum. Um, what is your attack? You're gonna double Shamir, 56. 56 minus 21, that's what, 35 times two is 70. <laughs> She's not living. Okay, uh, that answers that. So, it was just like, what order of operations do I wanna do here? We go here, combat arts, Draw back. Much better. Um, happy. So it didn't need to use a Banshee after all. Ooh. Same old, same old. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I'll take all the strength. Alright, Wyvern down. Very good. Uh, All right. But yeah, this. I don't think we need to take out the Viscums. At the very least. But. Yeah. Not nearly as uh, pretty as I would have hoped this would end up. Um, but I think I'm gonna try and open the door. I might need to complete, like, immediately undo it, but seems simple. Hey, that's gonna be nice to have on the file. Let's see, Eloise. I must stay the course. What is the sword of Zoltan? It's like there's another chest that I haven't opened. What is it? Because I'm probably gonna end up leaving behind. It's a sword. Okay, you 
know, this is, I think, how we're... Uh, yeah. That's how I think we're going to do this. We're going to open the door with Byleth. Walk back one. There we go. Oh, you have a fucking. I can't walk up to you. Okay. Uh, well, Talus. 42 res, 32 defense, 66 HP. Well. Wait. How much magic? 35 divided by 4. Where does that... What? 6... 432... So it would be like... It would have 8, right? I think... do this correctly. And I don't know if Seteth can kill, but... Oh, I, just, I can't go around. Oh. I was, I was gonna warp him in, and then I realized... problem with that. Well, um, what we could do... Silence. No. Byleth has nothing to fear. Because Quake... Zero hit rate. I... I fear for Quake because of Seta. I don't know what to make of it. How many of these? We have eight. Because if it misses, it's zero, zero. Is it, is it just one of those things like it's written as a tome, but it doesn't actually matter? There's no actual, it has a hit rate check, but like, do we actually care? I don't know. I think we're gonna... We're gonna go for it? Oh. No shame in falling before me. We're just gonna see. Can I get all the way up? After a shove, I can. Uh, go this way. Yeah, I'm just gonna. That's what you get. Try to ignore it. Let's see where that takes us. I cannot allow myself to fall here. I don't know how much damage that did, but it uh Let's try something. Oh, each 
shit, are you serious? All right, well, I mean, we have to reset anyway, but really? All right, so I think all we need to do, where is set at? Have I earned no reprieve? I think we just need to reset set at. So, so, yeah, there should be an elixir, like, right here. That should fix that. Um. My turn. I think one of the worst parts about this right now is Let's pretty go. sure that 30% is seeded to hit me. Gotten stronger. I'll crush them all. So we're gonna get hit. But it shouldn't matter, I think. Did he now wait time? Oh, you know, quick happen. I just skipped through all of it. Okay. Byleth is just barely hanging on. Okay. But oh, the unfortunate part now, now that I reset Seta. Well, actually, I say I reset him. It did so much damage. To him. Oh, he's at 13 res. It, he ha it couldn't have been just a regular. It had to have been like an elixir. Oh my god. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, with with everyone moved around, I'm wondering if I can warp in here to just take him down immediately. Which to do so. I have faith. Thing? Just a scratch. Thank you. I, I don't know Why if not? Seth is good enough to do this. I really don't. But. some of that. So close. Not a hundred percent crit. Um, swift strikes? No. Okay. Um, Constance? I know this dude has shitloads of res. You're nothing but animals performing tricks in the hopes of pleasing the goddess. You will never see the sunlight again. I fucking love Constance. I don't want to die here. What an absolute just disgusting unit. Wow. So, Swift Strikes, he doesn't have Vantage or anything. Um, no, like, Pavis. Do I even need to use Luin? Well, I think Luin is easier to prepare, I think. Unless Spear of Assault is Mithril. I have a shitload of Mithril. By shitload, I mean like 19 for some reason. Um, yeah, that, that's the ticket. So, 
before we do that, is there anything we want to get going real quick? Any... Uh, wait, you have lock touch, right? Yeah. So... To fall. Eloise almost died Caution to that quake, it looks like. Doesn't really look like opening the door is gonna get us anywhere. Uh, we can open the door, it looks like. Just barely. Uh, but yeah, Hanneman can't reach the person in question without bolt axe. And I mean, we, we would need to land and get the 15% crit. Why not though, right? Why not try it? I feel like I should at least try it. Let me just see. Shamir can't reach. Because what if we did get I mean, we hit. Oh, the, the crest of Indec. Oh my god. My dream. That actually almost did it. Holy shit. All right, well, that was that was entertaining really at the very least. Um, yeah, Byleth is gonna just straight up die here. It's like, Balthus has restore, but we uh, dance instead. Uh, but combat arts, swift strikes, spear of assault, take us home. Your eyes, hair. Ears I and blood. Him. We remember it all. We remember how you ruined us. How you stole our light and condemned us to eternal darkness. Now, suffer the wrath of the Agarthans! Bye. Level 45. My age is catching up to me. Speed, I'll take that. Okay. Still took a while, but not, uh... I'm pretty sure in Golden Deer, I think we routed this map. <laughs> you will never... Get to enjoy your victory. It can't be. For all the Garthans, let there be light. Alright, I like that cutscene.
it's a it's a fun one. Just big blasts, good music. Oh, oh, I thought Part there two. was. Oh no, nope, never mind then. I was like, I, th I thought that was just the post battle save, and then we're gonna talk. I guess not. All right, that's that's that. Uh, all right. Next time will be our final monastery for real. Uh, we have a few more supports. We need to get the rest of, let's see, we need uh, an A-plus for Caspar. Uh, Caspar and Catherine, rather. And then we need the Caspar Hilda one. Hopefully, I have C unlocked. I need B, B-plus, and A. And beyond that, I think it's just extra. It's just Hilda and Ferdinand would be ni nice to get. And then Bernadette, Bernadette Ingrid. I don't necessarily want to get, but like for completionists, I kind of want to see it. Um, but hopefully we can get those knocked out and then lock in our S support. <sighs> and then we go into the finale. But yes, that is it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.